Hey guys, so we have a full in-depth comparison here between the Sony Xperia 1 and the Sony Xperia L2. And let's get right to it. Now, during this video, we have a full comparison including speed test, speaker test, camera test, specs, and a lot more. And the L2 is a massive improvement over the L1 in terms of a lot of areas. Oh, it has a fingerprint scanner on, it has better cameras, it has a lot more storage, it has a much, much, much better battery. And especially the speed, you guys are going to notice a massive improvement of the L2 over the L1. And typically we don't cover low mid-range phones on this channel, but uh, since the channel did start off as Xperia Fan, that was the original name of the channel, I uh, do want to cover these phones. So the L2 is the first one to boot up, and the L1 about one second behind there. Alright guys, so we have a lot to cover during this video, and next up let's go over the specs. Both phones have 5.5 inch screens at 720p. On the front, you have a 5MP camera on the L1 and an 8 on the L2. And on the back, both phones have 13MP cameras. And of course, we have front and rear facing camera comparisons coming later in the video. On the L1, you have 16GB internal storage. And on the L2, you have 32. And both phones do have micro SD card support. The L2 has a massive battery upgrade at 32 inch capacity versus 2620. Both phones have the same MediaTek processor, although the L2 has one additional gigabyte of RAM on it. Neither phone is waterproof. Now looking at the designs, both phones have USB Type-C on them. And both phones do have headphone jacks, which is apparently an amazing feature now. And look at the back, so the L1 is a bit more of a matte feel to it, whereas the L2 is more of a plasticky feel. And on the L2, you do have a film scanner right here on the back. Whereas on the L1, there's no film scanner on it. Both phones are running Android 7.1.1 Nougat and the L2 costs about 70 bucks more. Alright guys, let's go and continue with the rest of the test now. Okay guys, so everything's closed out on both and next up apps and games opening. First up we have album. Switch up the apps a bit here from previous uh, speed test comparisons. Pretty easily going to the L2. Weather. L2. YouTube. Now the apps clearly a bit of a difference here, but you guys are going to notice a much bigger difference later on for the multitasking portion. Really having that additional gigabyte of RAM makes a huge difference here. So even for the basic apps you guys see is faster, uh, they are faster on the L2. Calculator. Again L2 there. Amazon Shopping. And L2 there again by a few seconds. FM Radio. Asphalt 8. So we have three games and Obviously guys, these are entry level, low range phones and they have the MediaTek processor, so don't go expecting too much for gaming performance. Although, I think for most games it should be more than enough. Just as long as you're not playing extremely high end games, you should be able to play most games on these just okay. So once again, that one going to the L2, Temperon 2. And Temple Run 2, again, about a 3 second advantage here for the L2. Yeah, in terms of gaming performance, not going to be a big difference, but again, in terms of multitasking, a lot of the basic apps, day to day stuff will be a bigger difference there. So, final game, and then we'll take a, uh, take a look at Intudu, the web browsing, and then a lot more stuff throughout the video.
L2. And let's go and see if it can go for the, oops, so you need to click on that. I'll go ahead and click on it here as well. See if that retains in the memory later on. And to do. So the score is, yeah, I mean, guys, look, the score is pretty similar, but just in terms, so that's what I was saying. It might be pretty, they may be uh, pretty similar in terms of uh, gaming performance, but just in terms of day-to-day -day stuff, the L2 is much, much, much faster, despite the scores you see here. Cam app. And it's looking at the camera app. Again, guys, a lot faster here just loading up the app. And so it begins, no copyright. And it's right next up, we have the speaker comparison. So both of these phones have one speaker on them. First up, we have the L1. And the L2. I'm not going to play for that long guys because it's not very pleasant. Doesn't sound very good at maximum volume. Okay, last time on both. I actually prefer the quality on the L1. Uh, I think the L2 gets a bit louder, but not very pleasant to listen to. So let me go ahead and just try to put down the volume a tiny bit here. Yeah, it definitely sounds better if you don't have it on the maximum volume. And this one had him listen to a few other songs and it doesn't sound as bad on the L2 on some of the other ones like this one. Sorry guys, <laughs> some uh, construction there in the background. L1. This is in place for about 10 seconds. And now the L2. So this one definitely an improvement over the previous song, but obviously guys, neither speaker is very good. So the L2 does the thing, the scanner or the L1 does not, and let's take a quick look at that on the L2. So again, it's right here on the back, and it's going to press down a bit harder so you guys can hear it. So it's pretty fast and responsive. Definitely an excellent feature to have. So next up we have Chrome and we have the web history on both. Okay, so we have four different sites and first up we have IGN. And both of these definitely take a while to load up compared to the high-end phones, but you guys see L2 taking this one. Next up we have INDB. Once again, we have the L2 here. So there's a couple more of us use Sony. So that one pretty close actually, maybe the L1 by a hair, but again, pretty close. And let's do one final one, let's do Nintendo.com. Oops, sorry guys, clicked on the wrong one there. Let's do one final one. So final one, Zelda.com. And 
And the advantage here is going to look like for the L2. Yep, advantage here for the L2. So next will be multitasking after so we have a few different camera tasks. So going back to the beginning with the album. Both of them are starting, but you guys see a bit faster there on the L2. Weather. So this one not restarting on the L2 is restarting on the L1. YouTube. And once again, L2 a major advantage there. Quack. Again, a huge advantage there. But you guys are going to see even more of an advantage uh, in terms of the gaming. So I have to say, the L2 doing a pretty good job here, especially for an entry-level phone. So it is refreshing some of these, but obviously night and day in terms of time. FM. Okay, now you guys are going to see. I'm actually not sure if it is going to retain the games in here, but sometimes it does. Okay, yeah, so good job here. L2 is retaining the game on the L1, completely restarting. Come pronto. So, a bit of a refresh there on the L2, but obviously night and day here, completely refreshing on the L1. And you guys can play a lot of Temple Run 2, just waiting for it to refresh on the L1. Oops, action quick done into you there, but it looks pretty good on both. And it's a couple more. Subway Surfers. So, as you guys see, is retaining here on the L2. On the L1, completely restarting. And it's a couple more. We have camera. Again, completely restarting on the L1. Chrome. Yep, yeah, I did click on it. So, again, a massive difference there. So, next we have three different camera tests. And bringing in a little Android guy for this. So both look pretty similar in terms of speed. And in a second I'll show you guys front and rear facing camera comparisons. And now taking a look at the front facing cameras on both, and on the X-A2 you actually have two options here. This one is super wide angle, and it's going to uh, change it back to the standard one. And now taking a look at the front facing cameras on both, and on the X-A2 you actually have two options here. This one is super wide angle, and it's going to uh, change it back to the standard one. So right there is a look at the standard viewpoint on the L2. And let's go and test out the, in the stabilization. So right there is a look at the standard viewpoint on the L2. And let's go and test out the image stabilization. And here's what we're facing cameras. And here's a book that Max resume. So just my thoughts, I think the L2 is a big improvement over the L1 when you factor in the cameras, the payment scanner, the storage, the speed, the battery life. Just a lot of improvements here on the L2. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys think that the L2 is a worthy upgrade to the L1. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Now if you want some more videos like this in the future, press the button and mail that subscribe for more. Or go ahead and press it in the top left or the top right for another video right now. And as always, thank you for watching.